Uh, hello, everyone. Mary Lou Andre back again for another edition of Beyond Dressing Well Live. Thank you all for joining us. And I can't believe it's March. I don't know where February went. I know I'm ready for spring, but if you're from certain parts of the country, especially the Northeast, they often call March second winter. So transitioning from one season to the next is always the trickiest part of dressing well. And what I thought I would do tonight is really do a mindset program, really get you thinking ahead to spring and hopefully motivating you to get into your closet sometime soon and really prepare for the warm weather. And yes, that means retiring some pieces in your wardrobe. Hence the title of tonight's program, which is seven items to retire from your closet now. Before we get started, a few quick announcements. Today is the 17th birthday of my book, Ready to Wear. It completely changed the footprint of our firm overnight. Uh, it was one of my um, bigger professional accomplishments. And I'm just so thrilled that the principles of this book uh, have stood the test of time. They definitely, fashions come and go, but an organized approach to style really lasts. And uh, a little bit later, we are going to bring in a few folks that are in our current session of 90 days to stellar style we are in enrollment for our spring session which is starting on april 11th but i'm going to bring them in so that you can all um find learn a little bit more about their program and also learn about them learn about why they joined a little bit about like their lifestyle um what they're putting into practice and of course that program is designed after the methodology in this book. So happy birthday, ready to wear. It has brought more people into our community than I could have ever imagined. I believe the three women that we have joining us in a little bit, I believe that they were introduced to us by the book. Another special birthday today is my Aunt Joan, who uh, is down in Florida. And she definitely gave me my first style lessons as a young person. And she really gave me the confidence to give them to others. So very happy birthday to my Aunt Joan, who is just so um, near and dear to me. She's not on the call tonight because she's at dinner, but I think she's only missed two of these live shows since we started, which means an awful lot to me. So happy birthday to her. We do have, it's the, it's the beginning of the month. So we do have a $250 gift certificate that we'll be giving out tonight. All you have to be is on the call and write a comment. And we also have two copies of the book. So let Sarah know, let Maria know over here in on Zoom uh, why you'd like a book. Um, and we'll be picking the winners. Um, Sarah always picks the winners the day after the program. So those are my uh, announcements. And now I wanted to really dive into the program. So when I was preparing for tonight's program, and you know, March is always again a big time for us because people are really getting ready to mentally, at least, even though there's a still some cold weather ahead, people are mentally preparing for the season ahead. So I went through some of our past lives and the one that we did in August with the same title, seven items to retire to your closet now, by far got the largest amount of views. It's up to over 900 on YouTube and up it's over 200 here in the Facebook group. So I thought, aha, that is an interesting hook. So I'd like to do tonight is to do a similar program with a spring twist. So when I did that program, the seven principles that I covered five of them were our core philosophy. So let me just go through those really quick, again, with the uh, intent that I will motivate all of you to do two or three things this, hopefully this weekend, before it gets too warm. Again, to get your closet prepared for the season ahead. And the first thing that we do, and a lot of you have been in our, in our programs, worked with our consultants one-on-one, -on -one, worked with me, is you know that you need to get a clear handle on your lifestyle now. So the number one things that you want to retire are things that no longer serve your lifestyle. All of us have gone through a tremendous shift in the last couple of years. So I know for myself, a lot of my stuffy suits 
are gone. I'm definitely adding jackets that are a little bit longer, roomier, boxier, like the silhouette has changed. I can wear these, you know, with jeans, with pants, with a dress. This is my, uh, I got this in uh, Europe uh, many years ago now, but it always comes out of the closet and it's such a current trend. I'm looking for a spring run right now that kind of mocks that sophisticated, uh, less corporate, yet still jacketed look. I am a jacket girl, that's for sure. So the second principle, and again, this is part of our core philosophy, is clothes that don't fit your body. And I think we all have to be done with the notion that we have to fit into the clothes. You have to have clothes that fit you period. So that's the second area to retire. This is like our high level mindset stuff. Get in there, go through that closet. Do I love it? And I wear it. I don't wear it anymore because I don't work in an office anymore. It's not comfortable. It doesn't fit. It never fit. Out it goes. The third one is clothes that make you feel guilty. You know the ones. You spend a lot of money and it never quite fit right or it wasn't the right color. Give yourself, so clothing is meant to serve you. And when it's making you feel bad, feel guilty, it's got to go. So we'll get in. I have a couple of examples to show, show you that tonight too. Um, clothes that are worn beyond repair. And I know that sometimes I have an example. So this is my little puffer vest that I love and I got a big old ink stain on it and I just can't wear it anymore. Um, so I'm gonna recycle this. I have a place in my hometown that actually takes donations and they also are able to recycle clothing that really, you know, nobody wants a, a little puffer vest with that big ink mark on it. But before I retired it, I liked it so much, I picked up a second one. So these are from Uniglo. They have awesome down vests. They're so affordable. When I first started buying them, they were about $29.99. This one was $39.99. So again, it's this organized approach to dress. You like things if they're worn and you need to replace them. I couldn't buy the tan, but I got this color. I can wear this little puffer jacket underneath this jacket. So you get the idea. You want to replace things, maybe make them a little bit more modern or replace them because that you, you know that you just wear them really hard. And I wear that vest. It's going to be sad to see that go. And then the fifth one of the big is really clothes that just don't make you feel happy. For those of you that have been on this program since the beginning of January, we've been talking so much about um, joy and shaking those cobwebs from COVID. And if your closet is stressing you out and you're, when you're getting dressed, that's the stress that can be easily eliminated. And that doesn't mean throw everything out. It's retiring it with thought and purpose. You can give it to uh, organizations that take clothes. I usually have about three piles going. I actually give a lot to my dear Aunt Joan. It's her birthday today. I send things to my sister. I've sent things to my niece. I give things to friends. I donate a ton. I sell things. It's really about eliminating so that you feel really good. So the next thing that I wanted to share tonight in our program is the seven things like what I'm purging and what I'm keeping. And number one is jeans. There's been such a shift with jeans and I have been a skinny jean girl for a really long time, but I am loving these high-waisted baggier jeans right now. They're so comfortable and I'm not giving away all my skinnies, but I have a pile going that are too tight. They don't feel good. I find that when I'm sitting at my desk all day with a skinny pant, I'm kind of in my Lululemons with a nice top. So a lot of the jeans I'm just not wearing. And I just happen to really, I wore these out Saturday night with a brown belt, a gray cashmere sweater tucked in like a half tuck um, and my Ugg boots at the bottom because they're just such, it, they just felt more hip. And again, these aren't very expensive. They just happen to fit me. The second, that I'm, second thing, and I know Sarah Zang goes over in that Facebook group cracking up right now, and Jen Coletti too, I think Jen's over here on Zoom with us, is you cannot be in our world without going through t-shirt drawers with people. 
So that's another area. What I'm keeping are the ones that fit me and feel really good. And I am a woman of a certain age. I don't want anything to see through. And the ones that I'm getting rid of are the stained ones, the ones that are see-through, the ones that don't have that relaxed fit that I really like. And that kind of speaks to lifestyle and what's happened to our world in the last 18 months, two years, is that we've all got used to a more comfortable and relaxed look. So what I suggest that you do, and my absolute favorite t-shirts last year came from The Gap. And I am a big old slob in the summer. So when I find a t-shirt that works, I usually buy two white, especially when they're affordable, like the Gap. I think the Gap one that I got last year that I really loved was, you know, under $30. So I went out to the mall because, you know, guys, I, that's how I get my game on for this show. And these Madewell t-shirts, I really love. So I picked up a white one and a black one. Uh, I tend to not wear as much black anymore, uh, but I like to have a black t-shirt and a white t-shirt because they just, you can create so many outfits with them. They're easy to pack for a trip. And I love actually how black trans transitions into September. And then you can't find t-shirts in September because they're showing wool. So I love having a black because I actually really like the black with the khaki, like what I have on, actually what I have on tonight. Do you guys like my top when you talk? Um, so I like that as, you know, so I, I try to get, get a black and a white, get to, I also really like a crew neck. Uh, I don't like, I like to cover my skin. Um, so I like when I get a neck. Other people really like V-necks. I do V-necks when I have a little bit of color in the summer, but I really like to be covered up. And I love, again, I'm a jacket girl. I love how these just go under a jean jacket, et cetera. Uh, and then the other ones that I'm keeping, you're gonna laugh. So I found this today when I was out shopping. It says uh, purple rain. Um, prints. I love prints, but these graphic t-shirts are everywhere. And the ones that I'm keeping when I went through, I have this old um, Bruce Springsteen concert tee, and it's just so cute with the baggier jeans and the belt. And I actually got this. My kids came from, from college and I found it in their wash. My son John <laughs> got this at a thrift store in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And I, I took it, I cleaned it up, I pressed it, and I'm having so much fun with it. It's got all the concert, all the songs. So who in our generation doesn't love that? And then of course, um, Women Change the World is another one that I've had for a while. I wore this to Bell of the Ball a couple of years ago. Uh, it's getting a little bit tired, but you get the gist. So I'm retiring all those t-shirts that are worn don't feel good even my mom i just did my mom's closets about two weekends ago and this is what i mean about the tag this is um ll bean and she says said it's too short on me it's really tight so i'm like i will give it a new home for you and so out it went i went over to talbot's and i got her four new t-shirts she's down in florida now and they fit they're fresh they're good colors for her and you know white's just not her best anymore when she doesn't have a layering piece so we got her some fresh ones and this is going to the needham community council i will give it a great home so that's t-shirts uh jewelry and i don't and i i gotta bring my guests on in five minutes so i'm gonna go real fast jewelry get some baggies out Start to sort, get rid of anything that's broken, be on repair. Um, see if you, if there's any way to repair it. I, we have taken so many, and if anybody lives in the near, I'm in Needham, Massachusetts, I'm happy to share our resources, but we have an amazing jewelry redesigner. We have an amazing, she also fixes jewelry for our clients and she'd be happy to do that for you. We can even mail her things. And then I have a jeweler that melts stuff down for clients. I just got a client $700 from melting down her gold. So um, what I'm getting rid of and what I suggest what you all get rid of is that stuff that keeps you from really seeing the gems, like the things that you love. This is a favorite necklace of mine um, that I got on a special birthday in Paris with my husband. And it's just always a great neckline, a necklace on certain necklines. I can really dress up little black dresses and things like that. So maybe that's what you take 
from the program today is retire all that broken stuff, turn some of it into cash, repurpose it, donate it, use baggies to get organized. That's what we do. Um, I even use cookie trays. So I bring cookie trays up and I just start putting things on the cookie trays. Broken, don't want, too cheap. And we did a whole program, I think in January with this so much content in our in our Facebook group, by the way, all you have to do is reach out to Sarah. If you want to see something, she'll point you in the right direction. You can also search, but we did a great program on organizing jewelry and we showed you all the tricks and tips on that as well. Um, number four is shoes. And the ones that I'm keeping are comfortable. Again, this comfort thing, I think we all got used to. And the ones that I'm getting rid of or we're getting rid of for our clients are the ones that are beat up and the ones that are just uncomfortable. So, oh, I didn't bring them down. I bought some sandals last summer that had a block heel. And I can't, I will never go back to my high skinny sandals again. I know I won't, but the block heel, and I can't believe I didn't bring them down, uh, are just gonna serve me well. As we go into spring, I love a good pair of loafers. These are really old, but they're so, I can wear them without socks, with socks. They're such a great transitional shoe. And at the end of last year, I had them, I brought them to the cobbler and I had them freshen them up so they're ready to go. If you're somebody that wants a little bit more style with your loafers, these are Steve Madden. I picked them up at the mall today. I thought, you know, they give you some height, but these, they're just super comfortable. I have a lot of people that love the Steve Madden for an affordable style fix. So wanted to show you those. Can I show you one more thing that I bought today? I am so excited. I bought these suede boots at Nordstrom today. I had been looking for a colored suede boot forever. These were like 50% off. I'm going to Nashville in April and I'm picturing this with a floral dress. I just ordered a um, cream leather jacket and I'm just so excited. But again, when you go through your wardrobe and you know what you need, I saw these out of the corner of my eye. They were my size, which is a miracle. There was only a cup, there wasn't very many boots on sale. Put them on, loved the heel, walked all over the shoe department and they go with my jacket they go i literally went through my wardrobe this is a favorite necklace that i never wear but i don't know if you can see that it picks up the color in the boot so retiring purging organizing at the beginning of the season allows you to see what you have it allows you to get really clear and it allows you to add just the right pieces. It also allows you to report purpose. And then um, the last two that I had on my list were pocketbooks. The things that I am purging are the big and baggy tote bag. You know, we all collect those tote bags and we don't need them all. One tip that I'll give you that I've done for years is a lot of times if I wanna save them for travel or if I don't know what colors are gonna be in for a season, I'll get a big one and I'll put all of them in the big one and kind of store it out of the way. And then, you know, I did go through and um, those of you that know that I'm playing pickleball, I did find a really great tote that fits our rackets in our balls really perfectly. So that's how I deal with that. But I'm constantly, you know, the shelter that we um, are involved with in the program, we, we have a program where we work with women that need a tire, they all want those tote bags. So that is a great thing to donate. The things that I'm keeping are, and I referenced this, I think a couple of weeks ago, are my really killer vintage bags. Uh, this is a real Gucci. I got it at a consignment store probably 20 years ago. I have tissue paper in it to keep the shape. I only wear this a couple times of years, but the ones that I'm keeping, I love anything that's got a, a handle. This is my vintage Chloe that I love. I love this Chloe bag. I also got this on consignment. This is what I'm wearing right now. I love it, love it, love it. I get stopped on the street with that bag. And then the other bag. So when I was cleaning out my mom's closet a couple of weeks ago, she's getting ready to, to move. I found these really great cross body coach bags. My mother had them. So I took them both. Those of you that saw my little shacket picture on social media this weekend, I had one of these on with my little shacket jacket. So I'm, I am ditching all like the, oh, you know, the big baggy stuff, the, the too many totes, but I'm keeping the crossbody bags, my vintage stuff. And 
you know, I've got this vintage um, Valentino that I love, 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 love. I wear this with white jeans in the summer. And my mom, I took these two out of her closet. I love this little white bag. Isn't that cute? That might come in handy. And I can, my two kids are graduating from college and I've heard that it'll be wedding season next. <laughs> so I also kept this little gold one. And then uh, last, what else do I have here? Um, I think that's it. Oh, blouses. I'm definitely getting rid of the too warm, too fitted. And I'm going for more, a little bit more flair with my blouses. So I'm keeping ones, um, you know, this one is like a new white blouse. It's got, you know, very pretty sleeve. I have a beautiful vest, a knit vest that will, will allow me to wear the sleeve. I can also speak and present in this and I'm, I've got some speaking engagements in person is coming back. Um, so that's, so that's that. Okay, I hope I hit my mark. I hope I gave all of you three or four new things to think about. Uh, and again, it's really about mindset and it's doing the work. Playing dress up in your closet is also fun. It doesn't cost a nickel. Uh, and our book, and again, we're giving away two copies tonight. And we also have a $250 gift certificate to put towards any of our programs, any of our virtual programs, whether one-on-one -on -one or, or the program. Um, but, that's, but that's that. And I think we're right at 723. So we're going to go a little late tonight because I would love to bring up our Stellar Style uh, participants. And first, I'm going to bring up Alan Chafee. And I'm not sure we can get two people up on the screen at the same time. I don't think we can do that tonight um, with Maria. Um, but Alan, are you on the screen? I don't know where I am, but oh, I'm yes, here. there you are. Yes. <laughs> so I think I'm not on the screen, but Alan, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. And tell the audience just a little bit about you because you are really a remarkable person. Oh, I, I live in North Dakota and um, we'll meet my daughter in a minute. She lives in the Boston area. And so we're doing this together. I, um, I am in the fourth quarter of life. And uh, that's one of the things that uh, brought me to this program. Um, I've had a very fulfilling career. I'm still doing a lot of work as well and a lot of travel, but clothes were always um, an afterthought with me and I really regret it. <laughs> And so that's what you, that's why you turned to the, and I think you had a copy of, of the book. Is that right? Is that how you I did a okay. long time ago? Yeah. I need a fresh one. Okay. Okay. You got, oh, you might be winning a book tonight. No, actually you're <laughs> tonight. just, just for being so nice and coming on. So tell us, um, so that's why you uh, just talk a little bit more about that, Ellen, just clothing being an afterthought. Cause I do hear that from a lot of women and a lot of women that have signed up for stellar style. They're like, it's my time. And I want to do more with less. I want to figure out the size and the tip. So talk to us a little bit about your perspective on that. Well, I, I really resonated with what you said earlier about the guilt trips. Um, and, you know, I, I'm very, I'm Scotch, Scottish, and I just don't, I, I can't bring myself to throw things away. And so the program is giving me a really good sense. So now I have an actual place in my closet, a shelf in the closet to put things that are ready to be retired because um, it's kind of a pain to get them to the right place. But, but you know, so it's okay to retire things. Um, there's just so many things that I, I just, I was busy working, didn't have many gal pals where I was working to talk about things like this with. And, um, but not, but I'm an orderly person yeah. and you have given me the tools to, um, to feel good about what's in my closet and not to be standing in the middle of the room with like this thing. What am I going to wear for this now? Because I know this, I know where to look. I can already visualize the pop, the options and I just go get it. It's really great. So what has, um, surprised you about the program. You're paired with Jen Coletti. So those of you, uh, 90 Days to Stellar Style, and again, we are kicking off a new cohort in April. It is, it's six classes. It follows our dressing well philosophy. And then in between the group sessions, so there's two each month, 
Monday nights from six to seven. And then you have two weeks between each session to do your homework. And you also meet with your stylist. So tell us what has surprised you about the process. Uh, outfits. I never, <laughs> I never thought about putting together outfits. I was always, I was kind of a, uh, pieces person. I didn't wear dresses, so I'd put things together and yeah, that's the right color. And really uh, have been delighted by how putting things together in the right way, knowing what, what looks good on everybody, um, really helps me, uh, surprise me how powerful that concept is, I guess I'd say. The other thing is fit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have, I just today, I found uh, two jackets. I was going through the coat closet and two jackets I actually love and have worn a lot and they're just too big. I'm just not wearing, yeah, I'm going to give them away. Okay, great. And I know that you joined with your daughter. So I'm going to get Carrie up next. You're the first mother and daughter team that we've had. So we also wanted to celebrate that with Mother's Day coming up. This might be something that you want to go do with your daughter or your mom. And also we've had a lot of friends join together. So um, Ellen, thank you so much. We had a nice connection when we got on the phone and your daughter uh, is um, Carrie here. Is she? she is. Okay, so let's bring Carrie up now, Maria. Hello, Carrie. I don't see her yet. Thank you so much, Ellen. Oh, are you on mute, Carrie? Oh. How does she there, come up? There we go. I couldn't unmute myself, but there we go. Hi. Oh, there's Carrie. Welcome. Hello. This is Ellen's beautiful daughter, who is an emergency room doctor. So thank you so much for all of your service, Carrie. Um, what a, a crazy 18 months you've had. And I was so glad that you came in the program, not only to join your mom, um, but so that we could give you some self-care. Um, a lot of this program is allowing women to focus on themselves and you are working with Sarah. Uh, and I know that you guys have done great work. I've been following along, I've been seeing the links. So why don't you share with um, first question, I've got three questions for our guests. What attracted you to the program? Um, I just really don't have any time. I have a little more time now that my kids are older, but I, I don't, I can't, I, I don't want to spend time, um, wondering what I'm going to wear. I, I need to have a plan. Um, and so, so having some ground rules to kind of, um, base, base, even just how I think about outfits and how I think about getting dressed, um, has been really helpful. Um, just to have kind of a grounding in, you know, you hear the term basics and, or, or, you know, neutrals, but to actually have a feel for what in my closet is a basic and how, how do I pull those together and how do I make them look special and not like I'm just wearing something basic. Um, so it's been, you know, a lot of help with, with fit and silhouette and, you know, what flatters me. Um, and how I can put my basics together and then just add something that makes it an outfit. Awesome. And just for those of you in the audience, the, the, the way that the, the program follows exactly what we do in a private consultation. So the first lesson is the organized wardrobe. It's motivating you to do a lot of what I share in this program is really get in there and get rid of the things that you know that we call it the dead wood. The second session is all about fit. And in between the sessions, we send people back in the closet. So once things are, you know, kind of organized in there, and we, we spend a lot of time helping people with the, that methodology, then it's go back and they get a lesson on fit. And it's like, go back in the closet. As Ellen mentioned, she'd been wearing coats that were too big. She worked with her stylist to understand the fit. Um, go back and release even more stuff. Most people that come to this program want to do more with less, and this is how we get them there. And every time, every month, you're putting together five outfits from what you own. You're photographing it. You're sharing it with your stylist. And Sarah's going to say to uh, to Carrie, um, "Those pants are good. We can do better." 
or put that beautiful scarf on. It's really going to jazz up the jacket, um, whatever that is. So every week you're building a library of outfits. As Ellen said, that was one of her surprises was the outfit concept. Then the third lesson, I think, is when it really comes together. And you guys are on the fourth lesson right now. The third lesson is you've gutted your closet. You've got a new sense of fit, which is huge. The third thing is go back in there and we have a checklist and figure out what's missing. The t-shirts, the jeans, it becomes super obvious when you have a checklist and you have a stylist. And that's when you're, the stylist is sending links. She's like, Carrie, these jeans will fit your body and your budget. Another misconception, we are shopping the sales rack. This is not about spending a ton of money. And then the, the fourth lesson, which you guys just went through, is the accessories, which, again, now that you've got the foundation, the scarves, we, we consider color, jewelry, blouses. We 60% of your wardrobe is basically accessories when you're doing this right. The next session, the fifth session, Sarah comes in and does a beautiful spring trend report to get people excited, does a Q&A. And then the last session is how do you maintain that closet? How do you continue to shop without us? You can continue to work with us if you'd like, but it is what we're super proud of is that we are giving people our philosophy in three months. Those of you that are, there's a ton of coaches that come to these programs. Those of you that are coaches, you all know that you can have a new habit in 90 days. So um, Ellen, thank you. And one more question. Um, what is just, what has been your best purchase that you've made with Sarah? Hmm. Let's see. Well, Sarah has led me to some really great black jeans, um, like a, that are sort of transitional that I can wear, not just um, as like a casual jean, but also dress up a little bit, um, which was missing from my closet. Um, some great jackets. Um, and actually, I, you know, when you do this with someone else, I actually just got a dress by the transitive property. Um, that um, Jen sent to my mom that was too big for my mom. And she sent me the picture. She was like, do you think this is too big? I was like, yes, please send it to me. So, um, so now I have a new dress. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, Carrie, thank you so much um, for coming on with your mom. And uh, again, I've been looking at the results and I'm just delighted that you guys are having such a good experience. So thank you so much. Okay, so one more, we're going a little over time, but I can, I can get Margaret on and off in about two to three minutes. Uh, those of you that are interested in joining the April program, you really will come out of that in June, ready to rock summer. Um, Sarah's putting, Sarah and Maria are putting up a link to my calendar. We make it pretty easy to do business with us. I like to personally talk to any, everyone just because I like to get to know you, explain the program. We do have a couple different packages, especially if you live locally and when you do you join with your mom if you do join with a friend we have some discounts available um, but if anyone would like to talk with me I am happy to give anybody in this community um, 20 30 minutes of my time to discuss your wardrobe if it's a fit great if it's not a fit that's okay too um, but Carrie thank you I had such a great time talking to you and your mom and just thrilled that you're having such a good time in the program okay all right Last but certainly not least is Margaret Cunningham. And Margaret, can you get Margaret up on the screen, Maria? And Margaret Hello. is coming to us from Chicago. Oh, there she is. Hi, Margaret. How are you? Um, I uh, got to know Mary Lou through a good friend that was, she had a wonderful corporate job. And it was during. Um, casual Friday when that was first introduced and my friend freaked out when she saw what people were wearing. So somehow she got connected to Mary Lou and um, I think you really helped her. And so my friend gave me a copy, an autographed copy of the book. And I have to admit, I looked, I've looked, I got it 16 years ago. I looked at it from time to time. And I don't know how I got introduced to the Facebook group, but I'm so glad I did. I've enjoyed these sessions. And I think, Mary Lou, I enjoyed your practicality. You were going to stores that I go to, 
when you said you were a gap girl, I thought, wow, you know, you're not spending a ton of money. So that I found um, interesting. So I'm having a very special birthday. So I thought it's a gift to myself. And it has been wonderful. Jen has been great. I love having a stylist. Um, she has touched on things that you just wouldn't talk to people about, you know, things that bothered me. And we found some wonderful things in my closet. We, my husband has been great taking all these photos and it has really been fun, but I discovered some things that I can wear. Awesome. So yeah. what, uh, and you're, uh, I love our story. Um, you, she, she joined one hour before the program started. <laughs> I was I working with Sarah to get you set up and I just we talked in the morning and you were on the fence and then I I thought okay you said I'll, I'll make a decision I didn't hear from you in the afternoon and then it was you know she was on central time too so it was right. an hour difference and then so what was it that made you say I'm going to do this I know it was your birthday but what was it that really I know you're on I know a lot of people on the call have been on the fence I know a lot of the people that are on the zoom over here so what was well, you them? because I thought about the people that I've admired their fashion. And it's something I wanted for myself. And I have learned a lot. And the, the big thing with Jen is she's given me confidence to go ahead, wear those. You know, I, I showed the jacket, I have this little biker jacket and she said, go for it. And I'm like, yeah. So, I have to say, I just made a decision that I was worth it. Oh, that awesome. I'm going to do it. And I'm glad I did. And, um, you know, it, it takes a lot of thought and work. You know, you really do process a lot during these three months. Mm -hmm. you, you really do. And yeah, um, yeah. I'm so Awesome. We're, we're not messing around. Margaret, thank you so much. I'm so glad. I was so delighted to get that email. I'm in at five. <laughs> we loved it. And we were all like, woohoo. And I said to Jen, oh, I got one more client for you. She comes in and I know that Jen has, um, you know, again, I check in with the women and I see the results and I'm just delighted. This has been such a wonderful uh, cohort. And we're, again, we love, um, we're just this program has been a gift of COVID for us to be able to connect with so many new people and teach our methodology so effectively on Zoom. It's just awesome. So thank you, thank you, Margaret. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you to all the other people that are in their program. There's a couple of them on the call and there's a couple of our past program participants. I think I saw Marianne Cochran sneaking in there right at the end, um, but that's our program for tonight. I hope again that you got some wonderful takers. We do try to make this very practical. So thank you, Margaret, for calling that out. And you know where to find us. And we do go live every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. If you like the program, please share it with your friends. We're looking to build this community. And we also have an interesting Instagram account, which is at Dressing Well Boston. So I'm going to say good night. We went a little bit over tonight. Hope that's okay. And again, happy birthday to the book. Happy birthday to my beautiful aunt. And we'll see you again next week. See you later. Bye-bye.